All right, we got future stars Lauren Hemp. Let's take a look at her and let's try her out. We are looking at a card that has four star skill moves with a four star weak foot, high, high work rates, and she is 5'5. Five five. Her current acceleration type is explosive 95 pace, 84 shooting, 89 passing, 93 dribbling, 75 physical. When we do dive into her in game stats, it is pretty clear that this card's strength is definitely going to be her dribbling and her pace. When we're just talking about base stats here, she's got 96 agility, 97 balance, and 94 ball control, 93 dribbling. Combined that with her 5'5 five five height we already know how responsive she's going to feel on the ball her dribbling i expect to feel absolutely insane if not ea this game is absolutely garbage but i'm honestly not worried about that i honestly do expect her dribbling to be very very good along with that she does got 95 pace 95 acceleration and 95 sprint speed if a player's base speed is 95 or above that actually comes in clutch along with her dribbling stats being very very good that just allows you to focus on other areas that you can improve. That's why, in my opinion, the recommended chemistry style here definitely is going to be that marksman. Her attacking positioning and her shot power are already at 92. But with the addition to the plus 8 to her finishing, that just allows it to go above 90. Along with that, you do get that nice little boost on her shot power. But the main reason why I like the marksman on her is just so you can upgrade that strength a little bit. But also, you can max out her reactions, ball control, and dribbling as much as possible as well. One, it'll just allow her to feel a lot quicker on the ball when you are dribbling. Also, you want Want her to feel stronger on the ball as well so plus eight in strength definitely doesn't hurt and like i mentioned before you do get those little upgrades to her shooting when we do dive into her playstyle, she has two playstyle pluses in whip pass plus and the trickster plus the whip pass plus is pretty self-explanatory when you do have her on the wing she can be very very accurate with her crosses her crosses can actually be very effective if you do have a striker that's very good inside the box for example like the chachenko i reviewed a couple days ago or if you have like a holland inside the box any taller striker that plays that type of play style. Combine that card with Lauren Hemp and you can do a whole lot of damage. Along with that, she does got the Trickster Plus. A little bit weird since she only has 4-star skill moves. But I'm actually moving past that. I'm just happy she has it because it just allows her to be more agile when you are straight dribbling. She's got the Finesse Shot, which I'm actually very happy about. It just allows her to be very effective outside the box. She's got Rapid and Quick Step. In my opinion, this combination for play styles is actually extremely underrated. She's already quick with her 95 pace and her 95 acceleration. Combine that with Quick Step and Rapid. That's just going to allow it to be a lot more easier for her to get by defenders. She also has Travella. When you combine that with the finesse shot, it just allows her to be a much bigger threat outside the box. And lastly, she does got the first touch. When you do ping the ball into her, she's going to have a better touch than some players in this game. For this review, I will be trying her out in two different formations in two different positions. The first one being in a 4-2-3-1 and playing her on the left side. This is just so I can test her out in her natural position out wide, see how her attacking AI works, see how effective she can be out wide utilizing her pace. And secondly, we'll be actually trying her out in a 4-3-2-1 as her main striker. This is me just being curious but i honestly do think that with their card stats and with how her in-game stats look i think this card can definitely play up top for you so i'm definitely going to try her out in that position as well and i'm also curious to see how her attacking ai is in that position as well with that being said though guys let's hop into the gameplay Alrighty, with that pace i like it go back inside nice for post well done keep in mind right now i am trying her out oh why right now she's on the opposite side Okay, well done. Borrow, finesse. Perfect. All right, now we're going to play her up top. Okay, Hem's hanging back a little bit, which is a little bit weird, but it's fine. Let's get into her. Into that space, finish, well done. Remember, she does have high, high work rates. And when you play players that typically have high, high work rates as a striker, they do drop back a little bit more often than others. So right there, I'm honestly not surprised. There you go. Now she's hanging centrally, which is perfect right now in that box. Beats him. Nice. Go, Hem. Yes, hemp. Hemp. Yes, well done. Every half, I'm going to change your position. So starting each game, she's going to be on the wing. And then starting the second half, she's going to go back up top. Dude, her left stick dribbling is crazy. Where does she make her run? Okay, she makes that run in behind. Let's see where she resets. Right there. Perfect. Dude, he legit cannot. All right, hemp's going to start up top for this game. Hemp is centrally right now, which is perfect. Get into her. Bang. Bang, well done. Nice. Go, Hemp. Beach Joe Gomez. Far post, well done. That's just her acceleration right there. This card might actually be better up top. No bullshit. Get back into stones and see what she does here. Runs into that space. That's okay. Goes back centrally. Perfect. He's been consistently up top and central, which is actually really, really good. I don't know what he's doing with this keeper, but I'll take a free goal. No worries. Bang love that he makes that run in that space perfect 
Nice little acceleration boost. For a post, well done. Raph, thank you. She wins the pen. I love it. 79 penalties only. Honestly, does not matter whatsoever. This is going to go in top left corner. Not saving this. Use that burst of speed to get by Mukulele. Gets by him. Only has Van Dyke to beat. Beats the keeper. Well done. That right there, though, is actually a perfect example of how to use her out wide. Use your pace to her advantage. Burn the wing back, whoever who it is. Especially because she does got the quick step and the rapid. When you are able to get inside the box from the wing, utilize her less stick dribbling. And the amount of chances that you can create is actually crazy. That right there, you can beat a couple guys, beat the goalkeeper and score. Or if you really want to, you can get inside the box, beat a couple guys, use your less stick dribbling, find a guy inside the box and score. Doesn't matter. She's really effective once you get inside the box with her. Love that. That's perfect. Bang. Keep going. Gets by the keeper. Finesse. Well done. Get in that space. Perfect. Well done. Gets in that space. Perfect. Drops him. Well done. Hemp. Nice. Nice. Your post. Perfect. Makes that run in that space. Perfect. And she's on side. And we're going to break the keeper. Go lasso. Well done. Hemp. Hemp. Love that. Well done. Yes, well done. Yes, guys. So after using this Future Stars Lauren Hemp card, I definitely have to say that she is very good in this game. And I honestly do think she's very effective in three different positions. Down the left wing, down the right wing, and down the middle. Now, down the wings, it is pretty self-explanatory. This card is extremely quick. So you do have the advantage in a lot of the 1v1 scenarios when you are coming up your opposing wing backs. Now, down the wing, she can be effective in two different ways. One, you can get some nice crosses inside the box. Remember, she does got the whip pass plus. So you can cross those balls in the back post or on top of the penalty spot. It does not matter. But also, when you do beat the wing backs 1v1 down the flanks, and when you enter inside the box, that's when you can really utilize her left stick dribbling inside the box to create a lot of space for you either to take a shot with her or to find an open teammate and for them to score as well now you can also use her as a striker and play her down the middle i think she's most effective doing that when she picked up the ball on top of the box and is able to turn inside the box to finish also once again you can really utilize her dribbling on top of the box as well you can beat a couple guys and finish with her also beat a couple guys be really shifty with her with her less stick dribbling and find an open teammate and they can score as well one underrated thing with this card in my opinion has to be your physical i think with the marksman upgrading your strength it actually allows her to not get knocked off the ball very easily. Also, when you do play her down the wings, since she does have the high, high work rates, she actually comes back quite often and actually allows you to have a little bit more defensive support. But just in general, guys, I honestly do think that this card is very good in this game. Only thing that knocks this card is her SBC price. Her SBC price is pretty expensive. Is it a little bit overpriced? I honestly do think so. But if you guys do have the fodder, I will highly suggest you guys go out and complete this card. If you guys don't want to waste your fodder, honestly, do not worry about that. You can save up and get more and then complete this card. Or if you guys would just rather get somebody else, that is perfectly fine. But in my opinion, if you guys do end up picking up this card, you will really enjoy using her. And I honestly do think that she'll score a lot of goals for you guys and help you win a lot of games. But with that being said, if you guys did enjoy the video, leave a like. That will be much appreciated. Subscribe for more EAFC content. Make sure to follow all the socials in the description. And as always, I'll see you guys in the next one.